I'd like us to look in Luke 24, uh, appearance of Jesus on the road to Emmaus after his resurrection. So um, it's interesting the, the appearances and the reactions of others after Jesus was resurrected from the dead. So I'd like to start at verse 32 in Luke 24. Luke 24, verse 32 to 35, says, They asked each other, Were not our hearts burning within us? While he talked with us on the road and opened the scriptures to us, they got up and returned at once to Jerusalem. There they found the eleven and those with them assembled together and saying, It is true, the Lord has risen and has, and has appeared to Simon. Then the two told what had happened on the way and how Jesus was recognized by them when he broke the bread. Now jumping to 46, 48 to 48. He, that is Jesus, told them, this is what is written. The Christ will suffer and rise from the dead on the third day. And repentance and forgiveness of sins will be preached in his name to all nations beginning at Jerusalem. You are witnesses of these things. Amen. So we see here uh, the reaction of those who saw Jesus as, as a resurrected person. And then Jesus' command to go to all nations and be witnesses. So are you witnesses? Are we witnesses? That's the question I have for us today. Today, in everyday language, there's this two-word phrase that we will all recognize, and that is contact tracing. Contact tracing. It's really big right now because of the COVID-19. Everyday language, who infected whom is the key. And I just read this morning that in Australia, overnight, in one day, there were 2 million downloads of a new app on your phone for this contact tracing in Australia. So this is one of the big important things to control the coronavirus around the world. Uh, not only social distancing, but once a person is, is infected, we want to trace who has had contact with that person. A friend of mine yesterday said, everyone who encountered the resurrected Jesus was contagious. Does that describe you? And we see in Acts chapter 4, a sign of that. <laughs> we see that uh, Peter and John said, for we cannot help speaking about what we have seen and heard. They're just absolutely contagious, absolutely annoying, going against everything, all the culture, all the rules, thrown in prison, it doesn't matter. We cannot help speaking about what we've seen and heard. They're contagious. They're, they had immediate contact with Jesus and everything changed from there on. They're forever changed and forever changing because of that contact with Jesus. So my question, are, are you contagious? Are you annoying? Katie, I see that smile over there. Um, you know, yesterday I had contact again with my uh, millionaire pagan friend in Budapest, Hungary, who told me he drives a, a two-year-old uh, Porsche 911, but he wants to get a newer one. Uh, and wants me to come and drive it. So I'll be going there tomorrow. But uh, he, he listened to my message on Facebook and he, he knows what I'm about. Uh, and he knows if we got together, it wouldn't take long to talk about Jesus. But I don't know if that's always the case with me and always the case with you, with us. Are, are we contagious? Do we have such immediate 
contact with Jesus that it just affects all of our lives and all of our contacts because our contact with Jesus is often the most immediate contact that some people will ever have, like my friend Akos in Budapest, Hungary. So that's my question in this uh, culture of contact tracing. May you and I experience that immediacy. Yeah, Dennis Kinlaw loved to talk about immediacy, that, that, that my contact with him is fresh today, here, now. And I'm forever changed and forever changing. I want to say not just contagious or courageous, but I want to say annoying, annoying that we people around us know that, oh, he's going to bring up Jesus again. Is that you? Well, let's pray. Father, thank you. Thank you for bringing Jesus up from life. Thank you for... (laughs) Oh, what a miracle. What a blessing. And we are forever changed. Father, uh, may we be like Peter and John. We can't stop talking about Jesus. We can't stop talking about what has happened to us because of our immediate contact with you. Thank you for contacting us. Thank you for reaching out to us. Thank you for, for, uh, the possibility to know you so intimately and we're forever changed we are forever changed and may we then be forever changing those around us our families our friends our neighbors our contacts around the world may we be people who trace that contact to you you're the one who infects us hallelujah thank you for this team May we be all in and all out in the name of Jesus. Amen.